All right, well, welcome back. Today, what we're going to do on part two of this video is we're going to take standard notation and we're going to write it in scientific notation. So standard notation is just a number written uh, normally, like 3,725,000, okay? I'm going to add in the commas just so you can see that. And we're going to change this number. We're going to go from standard notation to we're going to write this with the scientific notation. So we're going to write this with a factor that's between 1 and 10. So in this case, in this problem, it's going to be 3. 0.725, and we're going to multiply by a power of 10, and in this one, we're going to multiply by a power of 6, all right? So how did I get that? So what I do is I'm going to go ahead and write this, rewrite this number down here, and I'll show you how I did that, okay? How I did that is I first figure out a factor. I know the factor, based on my rules of scientific notation, uh, has to be between 1 and 10. So what I do is I look at where I can put the decimal so that I have a factor that's between 1 and 10. Okay. Right now, my decimal is right here, and that's what makes it 3,725,000. So where would the decimal go if uh, I have a factor between 1 and 10? It would go right here after the 3. It would go right before the 7. Notice that that would be 3.7 point something, or 3.7 something. Okay. As a result, I'm going to write that decimal, that new decimal, that new inner factor over here. So 3.725. Okay. Notice I did not write the zeros because when I have the decimal here, these zeros won't be holding any place values like they currently are. Um, so I don't need them, so I got rid of them. Okay. We're going to multiply by a power of 10 like we always do with scientific notation. Okay. So now how did I get the 6? Well, I got the 6 because I looked at this and I just count how far it moved. So if I go here, if I moved from here to here, I would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Notice that I moved right from that blue dot to the red dot. So as a result, that's a positive exponent, okay? So let me show you with another one. Let's go with 519,624. Right now, the decimal is located right here behind the 4, okay? Where can I place the decimal so I have a factor between 1 and 10? Right here between the 5 and the 1. So I'm going to rewrite that, that factor, 5.19624. Notice I did not have any zeros I needed to drop off when I rewrote that. Again, I'm going to multiply by a factor of 10, or power of 10. So now again, I'm going to count how far did I move from the blue one to the red. One, two, three, four, five. I moved five locations, and as a result, since I moved to the right from the blue to the red, it's going to be a positive exponent. All right? So let's show you with decimals what does it look like with factors and powers of 10. So if I ever have this decimal, 0 0.000316, okay? Again, where would I move the decimals that I'd have a factor between 1 and 10? Put it right here between the 3 and the 1. When I do that, I end up with this factor of 3.16. I don't need these zeros in front of the 3 because they're not holding place values at all, okay? We're going to multiply by a power of 10. And just like before, we're going to count how far it went from the blue one to the red one. 1, 2, 3, 4. It moved four spots, so I'm going to have a 4. But in this case, it's going to be a negative because I moved to the left. All right. And another way to think about it, this is a decimal, a number less than 1. Anytime the number is less than 1, we're going to have a negative exponent when we go from standard notation to scientific notation. So you might want to make a note of that in your notebook. I'll say that again. Anytime that we have a number that is less than one and we're going from standard notation to scientific notation, we're going to have a negative exponent. All right. One more example here. Let's go 0 0.01234. So where would I move the decimal so that I would have a factor between one and 10? I would go right here between the one and the two. All right, so I'm going to rewrite that factor, 1.234. We're going to take that times 10. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and count how many spots that it, that moved from the red, sorry, from the blue to the red. One, two. It moved two spots, and I know that it moved to the left. And I also looked at my original number. It was a decimal that was less than one. As a result, I know this is a negative exponent. Good luck changing your numbers from standard notation to scientific notation.